Hey guys, so I'm back with another tutorial. Obviously, it's a Halloween one. Um, so I've been uh, getting more requests for Halloween. As you can tell, I post a lot on Instagram and on Facebook. So I had a few references, and this is kind of what I came up with. You can definitely wear this um, for a night out if you have plans on Halloween. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Thanks guys. Bye. The first thing you want to do is apply a foundation that's one or two shades lighter than your natural shade. Um, and I also obviously darken my eyebrows and I fill them in with a black um, gel liner. You can use a cold pencil or anything that you want just as long as you uh, darken them. And the next thing you want to do is apply a eyeshadow base. I already applied mine. I used Urban Decay Primer Potion. And you just want to apply that to one of your eyes, not both. So I went ahead and already did that. The first color I'm going to pick up is Hoax or Hox, whatever it's called by MAC. And I'm going to just take this and just put this all over my lid. And you want to go from the inner corner to the outer corner because this eye is supposed to look smoked out. So just put that all over your lid. The next color I'm going to take is Sketch by MAC. And I'm going to also apply that to my lid. And you want to go from the outer corner in like halfway in. I'm not going all the way into the inner corner of my eye. I'm kind of just keeping this um, on the outer. And then what you want to do is blend that out. Again, it's supposed to be a smoked out look, so it's going to be dark. And you kind of want to bring it up to the crease just a little bit, not too much. And the next color I'm going to take is Beauty Mark by MAC. And the same thing, I'm going to apply that just at the outer V of my eye. I'm not going in and I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. And you can also bring this on down to your lash line. And this is like a really quick smoked out look. And I'm bringing this all the way to my tear duct on the bottom. And just blend that up a little bit. The next color I'm going to take is Vanilla by MAC. And apply that to my brow bone. And the next thing I'm going to do is curl my lashes, apply my mascara, and apply a liner. So the next thing you want to do is take your liquid latex and a Q-tip, and I'm just going to outline where I want the, um, like, decomposing, I guess, to be. And it's going to go around my eye. And be careful with liquid latex because it will burn if you get this in your eye. So there's one. I want some over here. And it can be any shape. You don't have to be, it doesn't have to be neat or anything. Ugh, it's burning my eye. And I'm also going to put one down over here. So you just go ahead and just draw out the outline to where you want it to be. My eye is watering, as you can see. 
Like I said, it does burn your eyes, so be careful with this stuff. Oh, my eyes watering. <laughs> the next thing you want to do is take your ply of toilet paper and take the little scrap pieces that you um, tore and I'm going to whip this off really fast and you kind of want to just layer it on top of the latex all around where you applied it And keep going all the way around. This stuff is super sticky, so it's not going to stick. You might need to reapply the latex <clears throat> once it dries in order for the toilet paper to stick on it. Okay, there's one and then you want this to completely dry before you add another layer and then you're going to do the same thing for each one The next thing you want to do is once this is dry, you want to go over um, each part with the um, foundation that you initially used for your face. So right now I'm just going to go over all the toilet paper with the foundation. Uh, what you want to do is Peel back just the inner edges of the latex. So it's going to be kind of hard, obviously, because it's stuck to your face, but okay. Just peel it back like this. So it gives the illusion of your skin being ripped off. and I'm going to just apply this around the wound for shadowing. It's like a medium brownish gray color I guess if you want to call it that. <clears throat> the next thing you want to do is take um, any kind of um, Halloween blood. I have this one's blood gel and this one is just another kind of um, blood. This one's more thicker, this is thinner. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the thicker blood gel and I'm going to apply that inside of each wound. The next thing you want to do is take your other blood, this is a thinner version of it, and I'm going to just stipple this all over and around each wound. I'm going to take these spiders and latex them on. So 
I'm just going to put one on each leg and put them wherever you feel. Like you want to put them. The next thing I'm going to do is apply lashes and then that will be the final look.